So I'm making YY noodles. These are so good. They're like, I think they're a Thai brand, a product of Thailand. So, and the noodles are like fried before they're put into like the bag. So that you can see the color, it's like a little different. It's not necessarily, it's not as pale. I have a pan heating up because I'm gonna do a fried egg. So we went really simple. I just have two bags of ramen. I have black pepper on this and then I always put pure sesame oil oh my god you have to finish off your ramen with this every time i just like pour like i don't know one two tablespoons and then we have a fried egg that's kind of half and half i'm so excited These, this is like one of my favorite it's really simple today we didn't do any like vegetables or protein so i'm gonna enjoy my carb and brushes are clean I kind of like winter or like colder weather. The brushes dry so much faster than when like, you know, summer. So we've got our eel and our cooked quinoa. I'm gonna do our quinoa fried rice with eel and we'll do some like chopped lettuce. Um, I could bake this, but you know, if I was like serving it with rice or something, but it's just going in fried rice, so I don't need to be too like, you know, overly prepping it Sunday afternoon I did nothing well it's not that I did nothing yesterday but I didn't leave the house I actually didn't want to leave the house today <sighs> yesterday I didn't leave the house because it was cold <laughs> today I'm just kind of like mm, I need to return this up to forever 21 you know when they did that 21% off I put in like an online order and it's always good when you get it and like a lot of it doesn't work out because then you can get your money back also totally bumming it today. I have like a sports bra on, workout pants, like the, you know, the ones that look like leggings. This, do we see this? Ohio State. It's like a long t-shirt dress thing, which is like really cute, I guess. Boots. Oh, but I am, <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have carried this purse today. Um, I know none of this goes, but this is like the most lightweight purse I have. I love how like it weighs like nothing. <laughs> So, what did I do today? Did my nails, black, and then, um, what else did I do? Um, I made that fried rice this morning. And, uh, yeah. I woke up this morning, I was going through my comments, you know, I always look to see the comments the next day from putting up the vlog and whatever else I put up. I got like a really mean comment. I mean, I guess it's not that mean. Mean is when people like threaten you or whatever, or tell you to whatever. But I'm just appreciative that those of you that chose to respond were super classy and mature because if I would have responded, Mm. I just don't understand people like this like get like just don't watch a video don't be here if you're gonna be an asshole it's like what did I ever do to you I hate when people like race up to the stop sign and then you're not sure if they're gonna go or not anyway um yeah uh, I tend I never respond to mean comments um, That doesn't mean I don't respond in my head <laughs> What I have to say is always mm. but I Love you guys you guys are fantastic And usually you know what I don't even care about mean comments like I get them all the time But it's like you know certain days when you wake up or in general, you know, like everything just is like ugh. And then you get a mean comment and you're like, bitch, you don't even know me. <laughs> Can you calm down? And you're, you're, I just don't understand it. I just, I don't know why I'm venting about this. This is not something brand new. I am not the first person this has happened to, but I just, some days, most days, perfectly fine with it. Other days, it just hits you the wrong way. Did you guys know that the Forever 21 credit card, when you sign up for it, and you make a purchase, and then you make a return, 
you still only get store credit. Is it is that the stupidest shit you've ever heard? Like, I go return something and there and she's pulling out a store credit card and I'm like, oh, I have a credit card. She's like, oh, you never get your money back. I'm like, I mean, she didn't say that, but basically that's what she told me. And <laughs> that is the dumbest thing. Like the biggest scam I've ever heard. I'm like, I'm not trying to be, I know this is not your fault, but can I ask you what is the point of the credit card? She's like, well, you get like points and rewards. And I'm like, then just give me a fucking membership card. Like I'll give me something you check. I don't know. Am I, I'm really irritated. I feel like I'm in that place. <laughs> it's like a weird place where like things keep happening that are not good. Like I have broken like three things that have been made of glass in the past like couple weeks like i've broken like an hourglass i've broken a mirror i've broken there's one more thing i broke i remember oh a cup just now when i tried to get into my car somehow i have my sunglasses on and i when i open the car door somehow it's like everything lined up so that i got hit in the face uh, i have no idea what's going on guys something is in the air something is this is not a good week month I don't know where the stars are right now. Um, I'm like worried I'm gonna have like a big bump here. Like it really hurt my face. Ugh. At least my pretzels were buy one get one free. I got sweet almond. Oh, and there was another day where I was like opening, I had finished half of a salad and the other half, sorry, the other half I put away and then I went to go get it the next day. As I'm opening it, I don't know if I tripped or what, I don't even feel like I tripped. I feel like the salad like flew out of my hand and landed all over the floor, which was so awesome. Do you guys have an idea what that means? Like, have you guys heard of anything before? Because I feel like something is off. Like, there's something in my life or something is not correct right now because stuff is... Stuff is being really weird and unpleasant. And I don't like it. Now I have to see if I lost some of my eyebrow. Okay, at the post office to drop off some uh, blog sale orders. How many? We have, like... I'm holding this camera so weird. Okay, yeah, so block sale orders. Now, they've started charging this like 99 cent fee. Maybe they've started it a while ago. You guys didn't say anything, I'm sorry. But it's going to the site. Like it's for like a handling or I don't know, just to use the site, which they didn't have before. It was like totally free to use as like a seller. But I guess they're charging it to the buyer, like the people who are buying, which I'm not, okay, sounds stupid, but if you want to email me your order and not use the site, um, that's totally fine. I think it's also kind of... S I know it's only 99 cents, but if you're putting in a smaller order, that 99 cents is stupid. So if you want... I mean, just in general. If you want to email me your order, I'll give you my PayPal email and we'll just do it from there. It'll probably work generally the same, but um, you won't get charged that 99 cents. I'm sorry, guys. But uh, yeah, just do that if you want to order. Still updating it, so yeah. Okay, so we are going, what am I looking for? We're going to, we, me and Tracy, are going to a bougier part of town today. Um, we want to swatch for the VIB sale. Um, but on top of that, you know, Sephora has so many brands that are like not at their stores. So there's like a Saxon and Nordstrom, so we can go see if like they have things we could you know we want to make an educated purchase so um yes i've been using the dr lancer lip contour no lip enhancing serum i very much like it a lot <laughs> i i know it's like a lip gloss i might get one for another one for the from the vib because i really like it like it's i know it's just a gloss it has very um luxe packaging a lot of people have complained that it like does horrible stuff in their purse and there's like a metal tip but i always just use my fingers um 
to apply it's a very sticky gloss if you don't like that i can't imagine that you would enjoy this but i have used it morning and night and my lips have never looked so perfect i like really struggle to find like a lip like a nighttime treatment and i've tried the bite beauty agave lip i've tried you name it i've tried it probably and this one <laughs> is really good so we went a little light on the makeup today i mean obviously <laughs> cat liner wing well cat liner not wing liner today but i used mac i can't remember it's like a single shadow I actually got it for free. If you guys aren't signed up for like the MAC rewards program, it was like buy, just make a purchase and you got like a free eyeshadow, like a free eyeshadow in a pot, not like a like loose shadow. It's a pretty good deal. I don't know what other things they're going to start doing for that uh, MAC program, but it's so far it's been pretty awesome. I think even at like the introductory level, there's pretty good perks and I'm sure the more you buy, um, you know, the higher your tier and the better your perks, but I generally like to buy from Nordstrom when I buy MAC because you know free returns but like MAC is free returns too but you have to call anything where you have to call and then like to return something is annoying to me I, I'm sure they do it on purpose so it deters you from returning but that's just don't do that you're too big of a company don't do that you know because um, I actually bought one of the spellbinder shadows I got higher power and the color's really pretty, like it's kind of like a purple, but I wish there was a little more red to it. Like I wish it was more burgundy and less purple, at least on my lids. Um, it looked really pretty, but there was so much fallout that I was like, I can't do this. And I'm not someone that really minds fallout, but it was when it was just like every single time, there was just like a few specks here and a few specks here. And I felt like the whole time I was doing my makeup, I kept finding new specks on my face. So that made it, sorry, eczema. Ooh. Um, yeah, so that was annoying. So I wanted to return it, but I haven't made the phone call yet to make the return. You know, it's just like, it's like so much work. Um, okay, as I'm rambling here too, I'm probably late. <laughs> this place is not close. It's like maybe 40 minutes away at least. At least. <sighs> this is the jacket I was telling you guys about in the last vlog. It's from Zara, but I said I saw it at um, Forever 21 for like 40 bucks. It's really nice. It's very like thin, thin, faux, crackled, micro suede. Very nice. So I have a cashmere scarf on to balance it out because it's like cold. It might even be like just 40 degrees tonight. I feel like this whole vlog has been in the car, so I figure I might as well <laughs> continue on with it. So I went to Target. If you guys are checking your mail, if you get like mail from Target, definitely like open it up if it's like a mailer because I've been just getting coupons. like. Five off ten dollars grocery, five off ten dollars for like personal items, and the most recent one had like a free Starbucks. That's pretty awesome, right? Okay, so food. They had like 31% off of like a lot of random food items. Um, so I was like, oh, let's go see what they what I oh my god, you know what I mean. Terra chips, Mediterranean flavor. The only difference between this and the regular is that they have some lemon, which yum. Love you guys see, I, I'm a big fan of like vegetable chips. I don't know that they're necessarily healthier, but like I enjoy them. Totinos or Totinos? I don't know. Stuffed nachos. I'm kind of excited. I never even had these when these were around in the 90s, even though you know I'm a 90s kid. And then I got pepperoni pizza rolls. I was thinking of doing like a mukbang with these because you guys know I'm, I eat pretty healthy. Like I eat really healthy during the week unless I go out for dinner but I'm like a salad soup quinoa girl during the week and then on the weekends we just you know uh, coffee mate french vanilla to go with my cafe bustelo because I've been just having it with like sh a little bit of sugar which is fine but a little cream is good the Taylor Farms Southwest chopped salad these are like four dollars and they're good for like two servings and they come with like dressing and some kind of accoutrement like you know tortilla chips or pumpkin seeds and then the asian one is super good too um i'm a big fan of these i also like that they come in a bag i just find the one with like you know the the best of use by furthest away from today and then and so the dressings are so good too this is like creamy cilantro dressing it has a like slight bit of 
tartness, tanginess, and it's, you know, slightly, not spicy, but like mild heat. It's not sweet, basically. Um, it's so good. These are so good. I, I'm a big fan because, you know, I love me those Trader Joe's salads, but that's like far away. And then the, the Asian version of this is really good too. I know I got something else. With my like five off $10 coupon, I got the Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pen in Copper Glow. I love these eye pencils. They go on so nice. I have one of the dual ended ones that's like a brown and like an opalescent color. So the Pixie stuff was like, I think it was 10% off on the Cartwheel app and then I got $5 off. So this color or this pencil was only like five bucks. Isn't that color so pretty? It's called Copper Glow, but it's more of like a burgundy, like plum, almost like purple brown. Really pretty. And they go on, like when they say silky, it's like, Pixie products are so hit or miss for me, but this is like something I've loved for a really long time. I've just never picked up more colors because for the drugstore, these are originally 12 bucks. I think when they originally launched, they were 15. So I don't know, I really like these though. I don't know if they're the most long lasting, but I love the way they go on. Sometimes, here's a trade-off. So I had like a, I was thinking of doing a mukbang, like I said with those pizza rolls and the nacho bites or whatever those are called, but I actually have Bogo Chipotle, so I might do that. I kind of want to do a mukbang this weekend. I kind of want to talk. I feel like this week's vlog has been really boring because nothing has been going on. Um, the weather is, you know, so I'm not really going out. Although I did, I went somewhere a couple days ago Oh my god, have you guys ever, okay, I didn't know this. I've been to Maggiano's before, but I didn't realize they had this thing where like you could have a pasta and take one home. So it's like BOGO, like buy one get one free. So awesome. I got the four cheese ravioli and the like lasagna, both super good. And then, oh my god, let me share a not good thing. I had gone to a place called Tom plus Chi or Tom and Chi. And the premise is um, grilled cheese with tomato soup amongst other soups. I got a grilled mac and cheese, grilled cheese sandwich. The pasta was cooked okay, but the macaroni and cheese itself had no flavor. The grilled cheese like bread part was like salty. And then my tomato basil soup was sour. So I'm so confused and I actually feel like for the price of what you're getting, it's overpriced. Like my whole thing was like nine bucks plus ish. And it came with a drink. Um, I guess there's like a lesser version that's like six bucks, like a less fancy grilled cheese, but I was really disappointed. And when I had looked them up, their menu looks bomb and they were on like Shark Tank and everything, but you're just like, the ambiance, like there are McDonald's by me that have better ambiance in this place. Anyway, um, this is gonna be such a bummer downer vlog. You couldn't even, like even the weather, it's like so gray out. So I feel like, um, all of the footage in this whole vlog over the course of the week has been very like blurry a little bit because it's kind of like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm getting sick. Also, I've been taking Zycam like it's my job. Anyway, I will see you in some beauty videos or I will see you in next week's vlog.